Hello everyone and welcome to the Zone of Tech. This is Daniel and a lot of users have told me that they have had uh, firmware issues while upgrading to iOS 7. So uh, in this video I am going to show you how to fix that issue and install iOS 7 on your iOS device. So let's take a look at how to fix the firmware issue on your iOS device. Enjoy! Okay, so the fix is pretty straightforward. So what you want to do is go to this website. Uh, the link is in the description down below. So from this website, you can download any firmware you want for your iOS device. So uh, if you have an iPhone 4S, you'll see that there are two different models to choose from. So iPhone 4, sorry, iPhone 4, not 4S. So iPhone 4, CDMA, and GSM. So uh, GSM is every iPhone that has a SIM card. So uh, you only have to choose CDMA if you're with Verizon. Uh, USA, United States, and you don't have a SIM card slot. Otherwise, just uh, just choose GSM, and this applies for the iPads as well. Uh, so let's say you have an iPhone 4S, as uh, as I do. So now you can download any firmware you want. So as you can see, uh, I will select the the newest firmware, which in my case is iOS 6.1.3. So if you have an iPhone 4, uh, once again the latest firmware. So th that's what you have to do. Download the latest firmware for your iOS device. Uh, and also from this website, you can download the latest iTunes version for uh, for Windows 64-bit, 32-bit, or Mac OS. Okay, so now that you've downloaded the, uh, the latest firmware for your iOS device, the next step is to open up iTunes, connect your iPhone to your computer, uh, left-click, restore iPhone while holding down the Shift key if you're on a Windows machine, or uh, hold down the Alt key or the Option key, same thing, uh, and left-click Restore iPhone to Restore while on a Mac. So this will allow you to select the firmware to restore your iOS device from. So uh, go to your location where you've downloaded uh, the firmware to and select it, and it's pretty much it. Okay, so once you've done this, the next step is obviously to install iOS 7 once again. So uh, to install iOS 7, just follow my video, iOS 7 installed, but there's a catch. You need to follow it uh, after a minute, 2 and 8 seconds. So after 2 and 8, uh, because that's when I show you how to install iOS 7. Because before 2, uh, 208, I say how to restore. So, but uh, you had this problem, so uh, once again, I, you only need to follow it after a minute after minute two. So uh, this is pretty much it. So uh, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it, if it helped you fix your issue. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have tons of more videos like this coming soon. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to Zone of Tech. And before I go, I have a question for you, which in this case is, do you enjoy iOS 7, yes or no? Because in my case, it's a huge yes, although it has a couple of bugs, which uh, I will probably talk about in a future video. So once again, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like on Facebook via Zone of Tech. Follow me on Twitter again via Zone of Tech. Uh, and also check out my previous videos, which were Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini Review. And uh, yeah, as you probably know, I have an iOS 7 playlist, uh, which has a lot of videos in it. So yeah, just click the, uh, the iOS 7 playlist and you will be taken to that playlist, obviously. Uh, so yeah, I have a bunch of videos in, uh, in that playlist. So once again, thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And until then, you know, like as always, cheers.